Hello from the Philippines. Five things that can make you go pop if you live in the Philippines. The weather. The weather can be awfully hot here in the Philippines. And it can make you go Filipinas can be stunningly beautiful. And when you look at them, you can go They're awfully beautiful. The food here. The food can give you the following morning if you're not careful what you eat. So that's three things. How about the fourth thing? It can be an awfully good idea to have this or this always handy because the awful flies and mosquitoes can be awfully annoying so that's four things oh and the fifth thing the philippines is the best place you'll ever know it's better than you dreamed it's Wunderbar, it's Shangri-La, it's Heaven 17, it's beautiful, it can make you go all night long. Anyway, let's get serious. So, hello from the Philippines. The weather's still mighty hot here. And that is something you have to be prepared for. If you come from a very hot country, then it's not going to be such a problem, I guess. You're used to it. But if you don't come from a hot country, it can be a shock to your system. You have to stay hydrated, plenty, and I mean plenty of water throughout the day. Wear a hat if necessary, baseball cap or whatever. Because the heat here mixed in with the humidity, that's the thing. It's the humidity that really is the killer. It can be 32, 33 degrees. Even on a hot summer's day in the UK, we can easily hit 32, 33 degrees but it's that humidity that takes that 32, 33, 34 degrees to 45 degrees, 46 degrees, it feels like, it's called the weather index. So that's what it will feel like, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47 degrees. So you have to be prepared. Maybe it's a good idea, depending on your skin tone, to buy some, um, Skin sunblocker. Another thing to look out for when we come to the Philippines are the insects. Again, it depends where you come from. I come from the UK. Sure, in the summer, we get house flies, we get moths, we have wasps, bees. The odd few ants, and that's it, more or less. Here in the Philippines, there are ants galore. Red ants, black ants, galore. I've even seen ants, the, the tiny little black ants, carry away small dead insects, like hundreds of them, just carry this dead insect. lizards on the wall but they're not strictly insects they can be a bit mm, yucky to look at i've seen moths butterflies are fine wasps i've never seen bees but i've seen a few wasps here 
So that is why it's important, unless you have an allergy, to have fly spray. This particular fly spray is a good one. It's expensive because it's water-based. Aqua-based technology for house and garden use kills mosquitoes, cockroaches and house flies. Another thing to be prepared for is are the culinary delights of the Philippines. We might not like some of the food here. If you're buying food from street stalls, you need to be careful because you don't know their hygiene. You don't know their personal hygiene, i.e. the person selling the food or the person that's made the food. Say it's fried chicken, for example. Plus, how long has it been in the heat? So you need to be careful. In terms of supermarket food, that's different. It's more or less like in the West. I wouldn't worry too much about that. And mostly it's canned goods, etc. But be careful with the food. I have had, I think, minor food poisoning once in my two years here. And that, funnily enough, wasn't from a, a street stall. It was a frozen um, fish in breadcrumbs made in Thailand that I got from the supermarket. I would never buy that again. That can happen anywhere. Yep, it can happen in the West, so. So there are just these little things you have to be mindful of. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. McDonald's, that's a great American place. Some people love it, some people hate it. In the UK, I very rarely used McDonald's. When I was younger, I did. It got boring, the quality went down. But here, because there aren't many familiar food outlets that I'm used to, I will use McDonald's. It's very hit and miss, I think, out here. You can go to one McDonald's location and it's perfect, beautiful. You can go there again a few days later and it's not. But then, isn't that a bit like the way it is in the West now? But overall, my experience of McDonald's has been pretty good. Except the one in Zamboanga, which was disgusting. Jolly Bee, I do not like. I had Jolly Bee food in 2006 in Cebu. It was fine. I do not like it now. I don't know what oil they use to uh, make the chicken, but it tastes rank. Pizzas. Ordinary Filipino pizzas. I'm not talking Domino. I haven't a clue what they taste like over here. Ordinary pizzas. Nope, I wouldn't recommend that. I don't even know if they use mozzarella cheese. I even had a proper Italian pizza in Zimbabwe from a, a restaurant with an Italian owner. If he seriously thinks that's an Italian pizza, he, know, he needs to go back to um, Milano or wherever, wherever he comes from and learn how to make proper pizza. That was one of the most disgusting pizzas I ever had. Nothing to do with the Philippines. He was Italian, his restaurant. He was just scamming Filipinos, thinking they don't know what a real uh, pizza, Italian pizza. Not a Domino pizza, an Italian restaurant pizza tastes like. Big difference. And it didn't even taste as good as a Domino pizza or a Pizza Hut pizza. It was crap. KFC, which we don't have here, is great. Chicken's a bit small, but I've never had an issue with KFC. In Zimbabwe, that is. So the food here is okay, but it's not going to be for everyone. 
I can't eat everything here. Yes, I've tried blue twice. It was okay. I didn't find it disgusting and I didn't find it particularly great. It was just okay. Nothing more, nothing less. Air cons. Should you buy air cons? Well, if you're building a house or buying a house for sure, and not just one, more than one. If you're renting or wanting to, looking to rent, should I say, I try and find somewhere that already has air cons and make sure the air cons are decent. You don't want some air con that's 35 years old and hardly works. And when you turn it on, it stutters. That's no good at all. Aircon is a must. You'll get some foreigners that say, no, I can deal with just an electric fan. Good luck to you, because I can't. Sure, your electric price will go up if you're using air cons, depending how long in a 24 hour period, seven day a week period, you're using it. But there's no way I could sleep night after night without an air con in this country. I may be great, but I'm not Superman just yet. And that's about it. Um, if you've got dandruff, Watson's, the drugstore, sells Cell Sun Blue Pro. I believe that's an American shampoo. In the UK, we have one called Cell Sun, which, which is a different company and stronger shampoo. But Cell Sun Blue is here. Um, if you've got a sore throat, things like Strepsils, they sell here. I've noticed they're made in Thailand. They're not the same as the Strepsils in the UK, not as strong. But hey, Ibuprofen, perfect here, exactly like the UK. Um, if you look hard enough, you will find good food items here. Some are foreign. Here we go. I knew it was just a matter of time. Bastard. Anyone for tennis? That's not a joke, by the way. A fly just buzzed on my earlobe. Oh, actually, that's my earlobe, isn't it? On my ear. <coughs> So the conclusion of my video, would I recommend the Philippines? Of course I would. I'd always recommend the Philippines, provided you have the financial means to live here. That's very important. It doesn't matter about the heat. It's not a deal breaker. It doesn't matter about whether you like every bit of Filipino food. I don't like every bit of UK food, English food. So there you go. It doesn't matter about the insects. You just deal with them. What matters is that you're happy here in the Philippines, that the Filipina you have chosen to spend the rest of your life with is the right Filipina for you. That's all that matters. And if you, you and your Filipina create a child together, do you really think the ugliness of a mosquito, the ugliness of a war lizard, the ugliness of a spider is more powerful than the beauty of the child you will create here? or the beauty of your Filipina, or the beauty of just the Philippines in general, and the beauty of the Filipina people, Filipino people, not Pina. That's what you've got to weigh up. If you really think the mosquitoes 
is a, a really deal breakers, then the Philippines was never for you. Can you imagine meeting your Filipina here? Maybe you're going to have a child with her, maybe you're not. That's the beauty. Yes, there's natural beauty about the Philippines, but that's the beauty of the Philippines. Of course, you can stay home in the West, buy a different brand, because I don't know if they sell that where you live. Mind you, it's made by Johnson's. And in the summertime, when you're living in your little room or your smelly little apartment, you can do that all day while eating takeout food, junk food, and getting fat and complaining to yourself about how awful your life is. How awful. But most of all, always remember, when you come to the Philippines, whether it's to meet your Filipina on vacation or to live here, for 24 hours of the day, guess what you're going to be doing because you're so happy. All day long. I don't know whether you'll be doing it all night long. Maybe you'll be busy doing other things, but you can still, even in bed, that's all.